Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this Tuesday edition of Mid-Morning Manna. I'm glad to come to you today. I hope you'll stay tuned. I hope you'll share this with someone, maybe someone that has a heartache, especially some mother. This week, following Mother's Day on Sunday, we uh, decided to just make every day uh, in a theme of mothers and how Christian mothers can rejoice. How Christian mothers can rejoice. I don't know what your difficulty is. Don't know what the problem that you've been through, but I know there's a God in heaven who wants to bless you. And we've been in Philippians chapter four. And on this day, number two, I want you to think with me, if you have your Bible open there, if you have a pen, jot something down. And uh, we talked yesterday about some ideas of how you can have that victory in your life as a Christian lady, as a Christian mother, uh, and how you can overcome the depression, the discouragement, the heartache, the, 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 the temptation, whatever you're dealing with, God wants to help you through it. He loves you. He entrusted you with being a mother. And as a mother, you can be a wonderful example, even to your adult children, of a, of a life of victory in the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, so today I want us to just jump down to verse number eight as we continue this uh, idea. He said, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, and by the way, it would include the sister and do, not just the brethren. <laughs> now, what about the sisters? And, and we're specifically, again, talking to mothers today following the Mother's Day weekend. If you uh, would like to, share this with your mom on, on Facebook or on whatever, uh, whatever platform you have. But it says, finally, brethren, verse 8, chapter 4 of Philippians, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. God said, let me direct you in how to think in a way that will give you victory in your life. You know, sometimes we get to worrying too much. We get to thinking too much about a difficulty. You know, our family's been through some unbelievable things this past year, just like yours probably has in some other areas. Maybe you had someone that had COVID or someone that, that you lost a loved one, uh, or maybe some family member that got in trouble or whatever it might be. Uh, we've been through some of those things, but I want to tell you, if you just dwell on that all the time, you'll end up having a nervous breakdown or something. You just can't do it. You've, we've got to go on and live our lives to the glory of God. I'm talking about how Christian mothers can have victory in Jesus. And, and what, one of the things you got to do is you got to think right. He said, listen, you're going through some difficulties. The, yeah, you've got this problem. Maybe you could make a list and you could write down 10 things or five things or three things that really trouble you. Well, then also, why don't you write over on the other side of that same page all the blessings that are yours, all the opportunities that you have, all the people that love you and are praying for you and that you're praying for, and, that, and the reason that you have to rejoice in the victory in someone else's life and maybe even the victories that God's given you along the way and just adjust your thinking. Allow your brain to release those enzymes or hormones or whatever it releases uh, that makes you feel better instead of always dwelling on the things that put you under that dark cloud. Let God lift your spirits. Listen to what he said. He said, he said the, the peace he said the peace of Christ uh, of the peace of God which passeth understanding should keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus that was in verse 7 and then we read verse 8 and he said all these things he, he made that long list he said, if there's anything that falls under any one of these categories, so why don't you list those things? Look at it again. Why don't you list? He said, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are, are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, whatsoever things, uh, he said, if there's any virtue, if there's, if there's any praise, Think on these things. So why don't you take all those things, list them, and then think of things under every one of those categories that you need to think about. Spend some time thinking about the goodness of God, the blessing of God on your life, not just the obstacles that the devil throws at you. That Listen, greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. The old devil would like to discourage you. To, to, he'd like to destroy you, but God wants to get you out of that thing. And he goes on to say this. He said, he said look at verse 8. And I'm sorry, look at, look at verse nine. He said, those 
things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Did you hear that? The God of peace shall be with you. You think on the right things and God will put that peace in your heart and he'll be right there with you. What a wonderful, what a wonderful pattern. The presence of God to accompany you. God wants to bless you. God wants to use you. Will you allow him to do it? Will you, will you give God a chance to get you out of that pit of despair and get you, put your feet on higher ground, put your mind on a higher plane and that you have victory in Jesus? Wouldn't that be a wonderful thing? Well, let's pray together. I pray that you will. And if I, if I can be of any help, you contact North Harrison Baptist Church. Go online, send us a text, send us a, uh, send us a, a, a personal message or, or, or send an email or do something and get in touch and let us be a help to you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us. Thank you for the joy that we have in serving Jesus. Thank you for Christian mothers who have all these resources from God available to them through his word. And I pray, Father, you'd help them to claim those resources. I know that there's a lot of folks out there, and especially in this last year, that have gone through the very depths of discouragement through different difficulties and different hardships and different attacks of the devil and disappointments and other things. Lord, lift them up, give them strength, encourage their hearts, help them to know you want to be right there with them. And we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. among us all that he does all of his mercy all of his love is the pen of a writer write every day even this world could never contain how I've been blessed warmth in the winter that can listen, eyes that can see, oh, I've got to praise Him as long as I breathe, I have been blessed. A mother and father, nurtured and raised, sisters and brothers, memories made. There's not enough time.